Inside Peter Seidler's office at the Padres headquarters, we step back in history. Ah, oh, my, my favorite rock band of all time, <laughs> the Rolling Stones, yeah. live in San Diego, mm -hmm. 1981. As he walks us through some of his unique baseball memorabilia, he recalls some of his fondest memories. I'll show you this. He shows us a family oh, photo goodness. from 1931. This is uh, from my grandfather, Walter O'Malley, and my grandmother Kay's uh, wedding. So. Walter O'Malley famously brought the Dodgers to L.A. from New York in 1957. So as his grandson, Seidler's baseball roots run deep. But he has his sights firmly set on the future, not just for the Padres and the team's fans. But for those who hear the roar of the crowds from beyond the ballpark's walls, San Diego's unhoused population. Flanking almost every side of the ballpark, they settle on these downtown streets to be close to service providers. The, the sadness is endless. You know, every new homeless face that you see, and more often than not, they'll, they'll share their story with you. Like, you can see, you know, something really good inside that person that's suffering right now, and, and you want to help them. And help them is precisely what Seidler has rolled up his sleeves to do. Oh yeah, I've, I've got a strong appetite for that. It, it's, the, the why is, you know, bottom line, it's, it's just a um, humanity issue, really. It's a personal mission, but one where he can use the profile of the Padres to create a bigger impact for San Diego. The ballpark is a place for joy. You know, people come out here and they want to forget their worries. And for a long time I thought, you know, this is my personal endeavor, but I think now that the homeless population has grown and currently is growing with, with real visibility to um, bring it back on the decline, we've decided in here to put our foot to the accelerator and what the Padres can do to help. Seidler is a member of the board of directors for the Lucky Duck Foundation, which funds and implements programs to alleviate homelessness. One of the newest programs to launch is a pizza and print shop on Fifth Avenue called Timmy's Place. The Lucky Duck Foundation worked with Urban Street Angels to add 20 additional beds to the adjoining youth shelter, where transitional youth can stay indefinitely. Some of them will work at Timmy's, but they'll be learning so much more than making coffee and pizza. Whatever they need, you know, learning how to balance a checkbook or use a credit card or, you know, the, the various things that all of us have to learn at some point in life and just open up a menu of options for them. On a will that could lift us far beyond a shelter and into a home. Timmy's Cafe employee, Ren Williams, reads from a poem he wrote after experiencing homelessness for more than a year. Suffering from mental illness, he didn't think he would ever become an adult. I grew up in some environments that were really toxic to me, especially as a transgender person. He says programs like Urban Street Angels and Timmy's gave him what he was quickly running out of hope and trust. It meant my whole world to me. It's hard to know what words to use to say that your life was changed. Drew Moser says the youth just can't wait. We can't operate at the speed of government. He is executive director of the Lucky Duck Foundation and has helped steer more than two and a half million dollars into 21 different job training programs for the homeless. He says half of the chronically homeless population lost their homes as youth. If we can catch those kids while the cement is still wet, we can completely change their lives, and not just change their lives, save their lives. We're laser focused on helping kids find those bright and immediate pathways off the streets. He says Lucky Duck is now raising money to make the program self-sustaining over time as a business model, and the young employees will learn those core business principles to use in the future. What Lucky Duck really does, he says, is provide hope that homelessness can be in the rear view mirror. Ren Williams says he wishes people would assume that homelessness is more complicated than it looks and shares this message for San Diegans. We need you now. We need you now. Um, so I would encourage San Diegans to just keep donating, keep showing up to places like Timmy's, um, and keep just being kind face is huge too. Smiling, goodness, smiling at a homeless person is um, in of itself a lot. The San Diego spirit, people collaborate, people compromise, 
um, people generally want to do their fair share. Peter Seidler says it is important for people to know that he is committed to the issue for life. Our city has a heart and it has a soul um, in ways that you don't see in a lot of places. And in the spirit of continuing to elevate San Diego, whether it's through the strength of the Padres or alleviating homelessness, I asked a question possibly on many people's minds. Would he help bring the Chargers back to San Diego? <laughs> I'm in this for the baseball. <laughs> but beyond the ballpark gates, reality continues to live on these streets. Much like the growing dreams for the Padres, Seidler is stacking the deck to change experiences of homelessness to experiences of hope. There's a lot of great things we can do on this planet, and I intend to be here for a long, long time. Maya Trabulsi, KPBS News.